All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. What we're gonna do in today's video, a little bit of a risky process here, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna regrade a base set, uh, not base set, I'm sorry, Evolutions base set artwork Charizard. This got a 9.5 from BGS. I firmly believe looking at this card, it should be a PSA 10. So I wanna resubmit this to PSA, but I don't wanna do crossover grading. I don't want them to have any bias looking at this case. I wanna crack it out and send it as if it's a brand new card. I really believe this is a 10. The centering is really good for a Beck, or for a uh, Evolutions card. I don't see any whitening on the corners, which is really good for an Evolutions card. This should be a 10. And I'm gonna take that risk by cracking this and sending it to PSA. And honestly, to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of Beckett cards or Beckett slabs. They just don't look good. And as you can see in the background, most of my cards are in PSA slabs. So this is the last Beckett 9.5 that I've got that I wanna do this for, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So what you're gonna need is a pair of pliers and a uh, flathead screwdriver to get in underneath there. So all you're gonna do, it's not a super complicated process. You're gonna wanna put some weight on the rest of the slab. You're gonna wanna get your pliers just on one corner. You really only need to break one corner off. Just get them just on the edge there. What you're gonna do is hold down the rest of the slab and just like a Band-Aid really quick, put a lot of pressure in one, two, three. Oh, there we go. Okay, just like that. So we need our thumbnail there, probably something like this. Okay, so that's all you need to do. Once you get that little piece there, you're good to go. You can get your flat head in there and just work it a little bit. Take your time with this step. Make sure you work it nice and good, but don't stick it in too deep to where you're gonna accidentally hit your card or nick your card. You don't wanna damage the card at all in this process. That's the delicate part about this. So be very careful with this part of the process. Now I do a little something extra that you probably don't need to do, but I think it helps. I cut these cards out of the Beckett sleeves. Now, the reason why I do this is because these are pretty obvious. These are not regular penny savers. It's pretty clear to a PSA grader that this was a card that was already in another company's slab. These are not typical card savers. So the reason why you would want to cut these out of a card saver is to remove bias from the grader. Because the grader is going to think, well, why did this guy submit this card in the first place? If it was already in a slab, if it was already graded, what would be the incentive of cracking it and resubmitting it. Well, the only sub, the only incentive would be that this card did not already grade a 10 with another company. And they're gonna know that at PSA. And they're gonna be biased. Whether you wanna think they are or not, they're gonna know this card was graded by another company and clearly it wasn't the grade that this guy wanted, so he's regrading it now with us. So they're gonna, they're, I think they're gonna automatically look at that card and say this card is not a 10. Another company already decided that. And they're going to hold that bias with their grade. So just to remove any potential bias, I'm going to remove this uh, clear sleeve that to me is an indicator that it was already graded. And this is why I don't, I'm not a fan of PSA's crossover grading either. Oh man. Did I damage that corner? I sure hope not. I sure hope I did not. Is that on the card? Or is that just on the case? Let's see, hold on, let's get this bad boy out of here. Come to Papa. No, okay, that was just on the case. So like I said, I think this is a really minty Evolution Zard. Really hard to come by, an Evolution Zard that's this minty. And I think it should be a PSA 10, but I don't want to risk crossover grading. All right, I don't think I damaged that at all in the process of getting it out. So that's how you remove a card from a slab, guys. And this card, if it were to get a PSA 10, I would say in right now's market, about a $2,000 card. So it would be worth it. It would certainly be a bump up from the value of a Beckett 9.5.
But to be completely honest, I would be taking a pretty big hit if this got a PSA 9 instead of a Beckett 9.5. The value would be significantly lowered in this card. But we're going to find out, so stay tuned, like and subscribe, and you guys can see I will film the PSA return of this card. You guys can find out exactly how this Charizard ended up grading. So like and subscribe, uh, and let me know what you guys think it will grade.